Hello and welcome to Frutch on Fighting. My name is Carl Frutch. Whilst I've got you, please hit subscribe. This episode is brought to you by Cobra Casino. All right, today I'm going to be addressing John Fury. Big John, the man from the hard road. 100 fights apparently, undefeated on the hard road. What a man he must be. Anyway, he's had a go at the Cobra just for having an opinion on his son. All right, he's got to look after his son. And he obviously is very sensitive to any kind of criticism. But let's have a look at what he said. So John Fury's had loads to say about me. Some of it not nice. Some of it I'm not really too fussed. It's, it, it, it does make me laugh. But he's called me a frigging shit house. To me, when you call somebody a shit house, it means they're a bottle job. It means they're scared to fight anybody. Have a look at my CV. Have a look at my resume. I fight anybody. I fear no man born from his mother. To quote your son Tyson Fury, I don't even know what that means, but there you have it. Right, shit house. Never been, never will be. He's called me a has been. What's all this has been business? That comes from somebody who's a never been. Have you ever been to call me a has been? And does that mean that every previous world champion, Hall of Famer, Ali Fraser, Roberto Duran, Sugar Ray Leonard, them kind of people, are you saying they're all has beens? It makes no sense. It's ridiculous. It comes from a jealous place. And you've, you've mentioned jealousy in, in, in the rant on the Cobra. I've never been jealous. I'm happy for boxers that get paid good money for doing the hardest, what I consider to be the hardest sport in the world. So let's just get that one out and cleared and in the open. John Fury, there's no jealousy. I've never been a has-been. Once a champion, always a champion. So another thing that John says is he's got to discredit Tyson Fury to make himself look better. Absolutely ridiculous for John Fury to say that I need to criticise Tyson Fury to make myself look better. I don't need to discredit Tyson to make my CV or my career look any better. Tyson's got four wins over world champions. I've got 11 wins over world champions. The four, in case you didn't know, is Cunningham. He's 37 years old. He dropped Tyson as well. But that is what it is. He got up to win. 37-year-old Cunningham. Two fights. With Deontay Wilder, he had three fights with him, one draw, two wins. Them two wins was against the 36 and the 35 and the 36-year-old Wilder. And then his fourth, his fourth world title win is against Vladimir Klitschko. 40-year-old Vladimir Klitschko. And when I said it, said it was in a stinker, what I mean is, all right, he, he won. He, he got all the belts. He became a unified champion. But it was a horrible fight to watch. And, by the way, he didn't give Klitschko the rematch. That was supposed to be on the cards. That never happened. So, I mean... Come on, four wins over world champions against 11 wins of world champions. I'm in the Hall of Fame for a reason. But again, I'm not here to dis discredit Tyson Fury. I'm asked questions by journalists. I give honest answers. You, you, you said that I, I, should be, I should be kissing his ass. Kiss his fucking ass, you said. What am I going to kiss his ass for? And, and, and here lies the problem. Is it because I'm not kissing his ass that you're getting upset? Anybody that has any kind of constructive criticism against your son, Tyson Fury, gets shut down and switched off and, and, and potentially banned. Look at what's happening to TalkSport. Tyson and yourself don't want TalkSport at the fights anymore because, because we dare to question his credentials. Simon Jordan has, has, has had a go at his credentials and talked about his career. Not in a negative way, just in an honest way. And you ban people. You need to soften up. You're supposed to be thick-skinned, this big hard man, a fighting man on a hard road. You can't take criticism. For somebody who's so tough and hard, you're so thin-skinned. You need to toughen up. He's also said, keep your son's name out of, out of your mouth, and I want to tear his head off. Well, is he now? Will Smith. Keep my, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! Keep my son's name out your mouth. Listen, when I'm asked a question about your son, I will give an honest answer. Constructive criticism, nothing personal at all. Get over it, Big John. You're not about kicking me up the arse when you see me. You won't be kicking anybody. You won't come near me. You'll probably come and shake me hand, and I hope you do, because I ain't got any beef with you. But if you want to go down that road of threatening and being stupid and you're a big hard man, since you've been out of the nick, you've not had a fight with anybody. I remember a guy called Mickey Theo. There's a couple of others as well. But Porky Russ, on Porky's Corner, put a big few banners up, didn't he, around Manchester for 18 months. An 18-month campaign calling you out to fight Mickey Theo for charity. You went silent. The big hard man, 100 hours on the hard road. The fighting man. Didn't want to fight. Didn't want any of that smoke. So, pipe down. 
So, yeah, it's interesting because he did the interview on Boxing Social, and Boxing Social actually took the post down. It was down for a couple of hours. They edited it and then put it back on. So why are Boxing Social taking clips down, editing it, chopping bits out, and then putting it back on? Who's had a word? It's very strange. Michael Benson, he's also done a tweet, and then that got taken down as well. So I don't know. He's upsetting someone. He's, he's been told, and he's had his wrist slapped. He's there with his, with his Saudi Arabia T-shirt on doing this interview on Boxing Social. And... Um, it's like, is he upsetting people over there? Is it, is it, as Tyson looked at it and thought, hang on a minute, you can't say that. Someone from management, someone higher has said, we don't like what you're saying. We don't like the way you're behaving. So let's edit it. So it's very, very strange. Listen, if you've got to say something about the Cobra and you want to put it on the Cobra, then put it on there and, and, and just be true to your word and leave it up there. Don't start taking it down and editing it because, you know, we're all men. We've all got an opinion and we can all, we can all take it on the chin. Or can we? You're now calling out Mike Tyson. Don't you worry about that. And if I'm wrong, me and you will fight straight after. Yeah! Yeah, man! <laughs> yeah, me and the great man! <laughs> Whatever the outcome, me and you will fight. Oh, day, baby. Get on there, my brother. <laughs> what gives you, how big is your ego to call out Mike Tyson? What gives you, what makes you think that you deserve to share the ring with an all-time great like Mike Tyson? You said you're a fighting man. I'll fight anybody. Now you're saying you won't fight anybody but you'll fight Mike Tyson. It's ridiculous. So there's absolutely no beef, no agenda, no problems. Big John, Big John, can we go out for a pint of Guinness? A couple of pints of Guinness. Hug it out and be friends. I don't want to fall out with you. I don't want to fall out of anybody. I've said a few things about your son. You're defending your son. I get it. Right, Tyson Fury. Let me just give him, let me end it on a, end it on a positive note. Tyson, I think, is on the slide. I said positive note, and I'm saying he's on the slide. But listen, he's, he's in his 30s, mid-30s. He's slowing down. He used to throw 50, 60 feints around. He's now throwing 15 feints around. He's been dropped five times in his last 70 rounds. A few interesting stats for you. Four there by Wilder. So he got dropped four times by Wilder, and he got dropped by Francis Ngannou. And he, he went down really heavy, but he was on the floor to a guy making his pro debut. So we've got to question where Tyson Fury is with his career. Where is he with his mindset, his desire, his ability now physically going forward? Can he become undisputed heavyweight champion of the world? We certainly hope so. We're going to find out in just over two weeks. Listen, I'd love it if he won the unification fight, the, the undisputed heavyweight title fight, because that keeps the belts in Britain and that sets up an all-British affair, potentially with Anthony Joshua, potentially with another rising British stars who, who are coming through. You've got um, Daniel Dubois as well. I mean... It opens doors for British boxing. I've got nothing against Usyk. Usyk is brilliant. He's absolutely pure class. And if he wins, great. But I'm behind Tyson Fury. And there's no hard feelings or animosity or agenda or jealousy or any of them things. And like I said, John, let's get together. Let's have a handshake, hug it out, and just, just be men about it. Stop with the jive talk. It's unnecessary. So that's it for another episode of Frotch on Fighting. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. That's going to keep this channel growing. If you're enjoying the content, hit subscribe. I appreciate it. I've got a special guest on. I'm actually interviewing a special guest this afternoon. Obviously, you'll find out on the next session of Frotch on Fighting. This actually wasn't a, a planned video. This is just a response to Big John. And hopefully it's all sorted. But until then, we'll see you next time.